All right, guys. This is the Pied Piper Play and Chimes. The lighting is not good, I know. The building is a little dark, and uh, where you see that metal door is where the, the play of the Pied Piper is gonna happen. During the summertime, they actually have real plays right here next to the building, kind of on a stage, like a musical type style, singing and dancing. There is the Pied Piper and the Reds. So in 1278 he came to the city of Hemlin that had a red plague and offered the services to the mayor saying that he can play his magic flute and clean the entire city of all the reds. And they said, oh, oh, oh yeah, okay, if you can, we're gonna give you a thousand marks. So he did, he played the flute, they followed him out of the city into the river, they all drowned, and then he went back to the mayor and said, hey, where's the money? And then they laughed again and said, oh, we're not gonna give you all the money. And then he was angry, he went away, and then a couple days later he showed up again in the middle of the night dressed in black clothes, playing a different tune. And then all the sh children from the city of Hamlin followed him and that's going to be displayed here on this little chime and play thing. But only if my arm is not going to fall off before it happens. <laughs> Holding my cell phone here, trying to at least. So now the Pied Piper did its job, his job. Enduring hardship for you guys. Standing out here, it's like 30-40 degrees. Kind of gloomy, loomy, gray skies. Raining and snowing on occasion. And we're watching the Pied Piper story. And there it goes. It's another Pied Piper, not the Pied Piper, the happy guy in colorful clothes, but now he's like the mean guy, coming back with anger. They didn't pay me. So he plays something else and all the kids from the city follow him, kind of like they are hypnotized. And then the only reason why actually the, the city folks, the parents, the people knew about it is because there were two kids that couldn't follow. There was a... Uh, guy 
on crutches that couldn't keep up and a blind girl. It's probably not politically correct to say a blind girl, but anyway, she was, her vision was impaired. So he was on crutches and she was blind and they couldn't keep up with the pace. So they stayed behind and they told the city people the story about what happened. And those kids have never been seen again. And that was supposedly 1278. But then during those years, they also had all kinds of um, diseases here in Germany, you know, the, the plague and whatnot. And this might have been how this tale came about, a way of them coping with the loss of children during years of disease and famine and whatnot. But that's only my theory. Sorry for my cell phone not focusing properly. But yeah, so those two kids stayed behind. I guess now the mechanical parts are retracting. So that's the end of the show. Very short. And as I mentioned here on the stage in the summertime, they have some sort of uh, musical play going on with professional actors and whatnot. It's pretty cool actually. All right guys. The Pipe Piper of Hamlin.